gonna be real, my hair looks like Cindy Lou Who and Hermione Granger ran into each other on the playground. Hey, what's up? My name's Aaliyah. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week we're gonna be doing a bookstore vlog because I decided that I had so much footage from the book shopping I've been doing lately that instead of putting it into a big vlog, I'm just gonna make it its own video. What a big brain move, because editing me does not need to be making another hour long vlog. So we're gonna go book shopping and we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble and we're gonna go to my local used bookstore. And then at the end, I'm gonna do a big book haul of everything that I got. So without any further ado, let's go book shopping.
some pretty serious damage. So let's talk about the books that I got from Barnes Noble first and then we will talk about everything that I got from the used bookstore. So the first thing I got is Samantha Shrublin's new book which is Seven Empty Houses. So this is a short story collection and it's about seven different weird houses and there's a story for each house and I think it's basically about these families who either acquired these houses or bought these houses that are really weird and there's like doors that lead to nowhere and they're getting lost and it's creepy and some of them have ghosts and it sounds really good. I've been wanting to check out Samantha Shrublin for a while. She also wrote this book Little Eyes that sounds really creepy and it's about these like stuffed pandas that people buy and they have like camcorders in them so some people can like see through the stuffed animals and watch people's houses and watch their kids and it's really creepy and other people like purchase these toys because they want to be watched and it sounds really weird and she is a author uh, whose work's been translated into English and this is her newest translated work and so I thought you know I really like stuff with creepy houses I like short story collections so let's read this first and then if I like that then I can pick up little eyes and some of her other really like creepy fever dream kind of stories and then next up I picked up a middle grade novel that I've been wanting to read for a while and it's called A Taste of Magic by J.L. So this is giving like Amari and the Night Brothers black girl magic energy and it's kind of chunky but it's about this young girl and she has just found out the family secret and apparently her whole family is witches and she didn't know and so she just kind of like got her powers and now she's going to magic school and she's trying to like learn about her magical abilities and like make friends and there's some kind of competition that's going on and it sounds really good and I really like these like new kind of middle grades that are coming out that are sort of like you know giving the kids the Harry Potter that they need now the Harry Potter's been ruined by J.K. Rowling and we get to just have all these fun magic school books and I love them honestly Amari and the Night Brothers was great and so I'm really excited to get into this and see what I think of it but I was reading the beginning and I really liked the writing style it's really easy to get into it's snarky it's fun so I think this one's gonna be really good and then and then let's be real I found the romance section and I kind of went off so I ended up picking up um, the Perfect Crimes of Marion Hayes by Cass Sebastian. So this is the sequel to um, The Queer Principles of Kit Webb, which I read back in 2021, and I liked that one. And so I thought I would pick up this one, because at the time I didn't even realize that it was going to be a series. And so I remember reading the end of the first one thinking, like, I feel like something is missing, like, is there going to be anything else? And it didn't seem like there was going to. And then this came out, and I was like, well shit, of course it's a series. So now I need to read this and this one's following two characters that we met in the first book and at the end they kind of like fall in love and run away together and so this is basically about their love story that was kind of going on like while book one was going on but we didn't get to see all of the background info on them and so it's about these two characters Marion and I think the guy's name is Rob and basically Marion at the beginning of the first book is married to this other man and she is a lot younger than him and they like recently had a baby and stuff and the guy that she's married to is like really a piece of shit and so I think it's about her and Rob who end up like getting into this correspondence and he's trying to like blackmail her and so they're writing letters back and forth and then I think one thing leads to another and they end up kind of like falling in love through their letters and then I think they like kind of got together and ran away at the end of the first book but we didn't really know what exactly was happening with them and so it sounds like the truth about like Rob's past kind of catches up with him in this one and we get to hear about what happened between him and Marion and what happened between Marion and her previous husband and how that whole thing ended so I think this is going to be really really good. The two characters are very interesting because they're both very like sly and kind of like making all these political kind of moves in the background and Marion is very smart and she's definitely like trying to deceive her husband in the first one and then Rob is uh, this like outlaw kind of guy who used to like hold up stagecoaches and rob people and stuff and so I think he's kind of like gotten to the business of like secrets and is trying to do blackmail instead of like outright stealing from folks so anyways it's a fun and fresh time they're very fun and interesting characters and then I found some historical romances and so I was looking at these and I didn't have my phone with me 
because my phone was dead so I left it at home and so of course I just bought things based off of like the covers and what sounded good when I was reading like the first chapter of them and I didn't know which ones were in what series because a lot of them don't say so of course I bought two that are in the same series and do you think they're the first couple books no it's books like four and six but you know what sometimes you just gotta buy a book because the guy on the cover is your type you know what I'm saying so anyways uh, I got these two because they are Highlander romances and that's something I really want to get into in 2023 because it sounds really fun to me and so I got this one it's called the Highlander's Promise and it looks really cool and it's fun because the step backs are of Scotland which I think is really cool and so this one is about uh this guy who's a warrior and he falls in love uh with this lovely lady from the ocean and it sounds lovely and i think these are all following like dudes from the same clan too which is really cool and then this one i thought this cover was also really really stunning and again um hello you can't you can't not get that with a step back like this hello so this one is following a guy from the same clan um, but I think it also has like a guy who's a warrior and he's really tough and he's into fighting and swearing and all that kind of stuff. And then the girl that he falls for is this lady who grew up with like seven brothers and she's really tough and sassy and she kind of like gives him a run for his money. And that just sounds so fun. So anyways, I got these two because I think they're really stunning and fun. And uh, lucky for me, I found the audiobooks for the first couple of books in the series from my library. So I'll probably listen to those and then read these ones that I bought. And then I also got a, another one from Tessa Dare, and it's called Say Yes to the Marquee. And this one is book two in the series, which I am cool with because I have since purchased book one. Uh, so it all kind of worked out in the end. But this one got a little bit messed up. Uh, with the cover because after I went to Barnes & Noble I had to pack up all my books and Peyton and I had to get on a flight to fly home and I shoved this in my carry-on bag and apparently uh, that was a bad idea so you know do what you gotta do but it's okay my tears are dry <laughs> so this is about a woman who has been engaged to this man for like eight years and the dude just will not like pick a date for the wedding he doesn't seem to have much interest in her it's an arranged marriage and so she's like you know what i'm sick of this shit um i'm gonna try to get this man to either cut fish or cut bait here and so she tries to like break off the engagement because it's been so long and she hasn't heard anything from him and then all of a sudden his brother hears that she's trying to break off the engagement and he gets pissed and so he's trying to keep her from getting cold feet and so i think one thing leads to another and this woman ends up falling for her fiance's brother because he's actually like attentive and gives a shit about her and so anyways sounds like sparks fly and they have some kind of little scandal going on and he ends up falling for this woman and it sounds really fun i've heard really good things about this series and i really want to read tessa dare and um i think this is one that i heard about from jess from peace love books and she always has really good romance recommendations if you're into like historical romances in particular so anyways i'm excited about this so those are all the ones that i got from Barnes and Noble and then let's talk about the ones from the used bookstore because I also got some more romances there because uh you girl is in her romance era or at least like trying to be so I just keep buying all these freaking romance books um which means I'm gonna have to do some romance vlogs which I know is just gonna just twist my arm you know what I'm saying just so hard for me <laughs> so anyways let's talk about the first one I got from the used bookstore and this one is either going to be really fun or really racist and I don't know which it's going to be so this one is called Chic and it's by Connie Mason who I've never heard of before but they had a bunch of her books and they all kind of look like this where they're like really old school historicals they're really fun the font on the inside I have to show you this this is just it's iconic it really is like hello I had to get this uh, and part of why I wanted to get this is because when I was a kid I watched this movie called Secondhand Lions and if you've watched this movie you might know why I am connecting the two but in that movie there's this really wealthy chic uh, who's like trying to come after this princess and like force her to marry him and this guy on the front just reminded me so much of like that whole wealthy chic vibe who's like really pushy and has this whole like harem of women and stuff and I just wanted to read about that in book form and so this follows a princess named Zara 
and she has been raised to be a warrior and her father is basically like the leader of this rebel kind of clan and they live in the mountains outside of this city and the city used to be like under their control and then it got taken over by this bad man and the sheik his name is jamal and he is kind of like the second in command to this evil dude who's taken over the city and jamal is basically just a rich sheik and he's also a pirate and so he basically goes around and like steals from other ships that he runs into on the high seas and so he sometimes steals from like the spaniards and whatever who've been out conquering and he'll steal, steal their gold and then bring it back and so basically it's about this guy jamal coming back from being on his pirate ship for like a year and he comes back and the leader of the city is basically like hey i need you to take some of our best warriors and go out and fight these people who are living in the mountains because they keep like attacking the caravans that are bringing money and goods into the city and so it's gonna start being a problem like i'm losing a lot of money here we're losing resources like i need you to go and kill these folks because they're a problem and jamal's like dude i just got back from my trip like can i go home and like see my women like i've been kind of gone for a while and the leader's like i don't give a shit like I, go kill them and i'll give you money and jamal's like i don't need your money but whatever i'll just do it just to do it and so he does and as he's attacking these mountain folks they get into like the skirmish in the mountains and they have like a sneak attack that they plan for the mountain people and whatever um jamal ends up capturing this princess girl zara and taking her as a captive back to the city and then things kind of go from there and he kind of starts falling for her even though she's a captive and there's also kind of like racial things going on because in this book jamal is one of the like arabs who have taken over the city and the people who live in the mountains are like more eastern european descent and stuff so there's a lot of stuff going on here but there's also like some african people who have been enslaved by the arabs and so there's definitely some like kind of questionable discussions of race and like racial terms that are used in here but also this book was published in 1997 which just for context um i was not born in 1997 so Part of it is like it's set in what is it the 1600s i think yeah it's set in morocco in 1673 and it was also written in 1997 so part of it is like historical stuff and also it was written by like a white lady in the 90s so like maybe not the most culturally sensitive kind of stuff but you know what's even more interesting than the racism is the dubious consent <laughs> I got and I can only say this because I started it and I'm gonna talk about it in an upcoming reading vlog but um there's a lot of layers to this onion and it's also a chunky book so I'm sure I'll have more thoughts when I've read more but anyways this is an intriguing find and I thought I would just buy it and read it because why not just for fun and then next up I bought a few books that were on my Goodreads TBR because I have this list on Goodreads of ones that I've heard other YouTubers say are really good and so I'm always on the hunt for historical romances that are on my list and one of the ones that I found is a Scottish romance and it's called In Your Wild Scottish Dreams and I've never read from this author before Karen Ranley or Ranny? I've never even heard of this author before um except I had this on my list so I was like okay I think either just from Peace Love Books or maybe um Kirstie from like Kirstie Reads was recommending this and so I thought that I would pick it up when I saw it and it has this really lovely step back and it sounds like it's about this guy who made some kind of foolish mistake in the past and so I think this is maybe like a second chance romance sort of a thing and it's about uh this man who's a shipbuilder and apparently he's made mistakes and it sounds fun and fresh. Okay, it says, as the war casts its long shadow across the ocean, will a secret from Linus's past destroy any chance for a future between the two star-crossed lovers? So it is set in Scotland and there's also the American Civil War going on. So there's a lot of like political upheaval going on, but it sounds like these two are gonna get back together. And the top says um, it's the first novel in a brand new series um, about a beautiful widow and a devilishly handsome shipbuilder. 
Oh, doesn't that sound so cute? And they look so cute. And honestly, it's Scottish. It's fun and fresh. It was on my list. So past me must have thought it was good. So I'm down. And it's the first in this series, which is perfect. Because then I don't have to go and try to get book one from the library. Next, we have a couple books from Karen Hawkins. So I got this one. It's called How to Abduct a Highland Lord. I know, another Highlander romance. Who's surprised? Not me. Uh, this one I got because I have book three in the series that I got on Pango. And so I really wanted to get book one. And it's Highlander romance, which you guys know I'm trying to get into. And it's about this woman named Fiona who is not the marrying type. But it sounds like she gets into this arranged marriage um, with this guy called Blackjack Kincaid, who is this handsome man that she like swore she'd never see again. And there was a really bloody war between their two clans. And she's like trying not to lose her heart to this man. And uh, it's set in Scotland and in London. And it sounds fun and fresh. And then next, I got this other one that I'd never heard anything about, but I had to get it because the two people on the cover just look like they're so in love. And I was intrigued by that. It's called How to Capture a Countess by Karen Hawkins. And isn't that just the most stunning cover you've ever seen? And it doesn't really have a step back, but I was reading the first chapter and I thought it was cool because it's told in like diary form. And this woman is telling the story of um, the different like marriages that she's had and I think she mentioned something about how she yeah okay I'm just gonna read you this part it says for example it's true that I've thus far outlived four husbands and am now married to a fifth my beloved Roxburgh it's also true that each man I married was fabulously wealthy and older than the last however it's patently untrue that I married for wealth and wealth alone call me a romantic but I could never marry without love for that and family are the cornerstones of a worthy life isn't that tender? So in, anyways, it sounds like it's about this woman who is writing these diary entries to kind of like tell her life story because she's been married to all these different men and it sounds like there's a lot of rumors surrounding her and her marriages and her life and she's kind of just like here to set the record straight and like talk about this fifth husband that she's with that she's really in love with and I just think that sounds really fun and the cover's cute and I want to get into Karen Hawkins so I picked that up. And then lastly, I had to get a Lisa Kleypas. You guys know I'm a slut for Lisa Kleypas. So I got Cold Hearted Rake. So this is the first in another series by her. And this is a longer series. And I think I own book like eight or something. And that's the only one I have. So I thought I would pick this one up. Again, cool step back. Isn't that stunning? We love to see it. And so this is about these two folks. And I think it's a hate to love. And at the beginning, <laughs> it's kind of funny, this woman is talking about how uh, this guy got bucked off a horse <laughs> and she's like happy about it because she's like, well, her exact words are, obviously the horse found him as insufferable as I did. <laughs> and I just love that. I love that she's already just like passing judgment and like giving, giving him sass because his horse just like kicked him off and she's like, wow. You're annoying. I bet the horse thinks you're annoying too. <laughs> Honestly, we'd love to see it. But anyways, it's about this guy named Devin, uh, who is one of London's most charming rakes. Shocker. And he's recently inherited an earldom. And he's got this powerful new rank in society. And so now he has this responsibility to like get married and settle his debts. And um, apparently he inherits this house and one of the women living in the house is this lady Kathleen and she's living there with her two sisters and now all of a sudden he owns the house that she's living in. And so this woman Kathleen doesn't trust him and she doesn't really like him but you know she's trying to like stay in his good graces because he owns the house and then one thing leads to another and it sounds like they end up having a quite the romance. But I thought this cover was cool because it also has like the big house in the background too which is really cool. So anyways, those are all of the books that I recently acquired. Um, I definitely don't have a book buying problem. What are you talking about? So if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will like and subscribe and consider hanging around and watching some more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.